Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and I want to show you Bevel Photos. We'll see what we got today. All right, that's uh, one I wanted to run last week, so it's it's a little bit old, but uh, that's the um, climbing milkweed plant. You can see the old pot it right. I've shown this two or three stages there, but you can see how big and pretty the leaves are. That's the FEMA team. Did I show their picture once before? I'm not sure, but they were traveling around Fayetteville uh, checking out uh, storm damage. Okay, there's Melissa Terry and her husband and little girls downtown Fayetteville near, you can see Dixon Street in the background. Okay, there's an old friend and his last name is Mays. And do you remember him? Well, he's still here and he's working hard. That's uh, the first uh, cicada I saw this year. He, uh, or it, hatched out in my uh, yard there right at the edge of World Peace Wetland Prairie, uh, probably on a tree in common. And uh, that was his uh, pupil stage, uh, pupil stage uh, shell that he had just shed that morning. That's a uh, leaf winged bug. You can't see the big legs and they're not as pronounced on that one. But anyway, there he is from the front just trying to show some detail. It was an unusually colorful one. I couldn't figure out whether the back was damaged or why it was so colorful. I couldn't find a picture of one just exactly like it to, uh, to read up on it. Okay, there's on the left a lady who is on our city council. Everybody knows Rhonda by now in Ward 4. That's her husband at right and her father-in-law. And this was at the uh, National Cemetery Memorial Day. That's uh, Nancy on the left and Bud Saunders. Uh, Bud's an old veteran. And Nancy wrote a wonderful book on veterans for peace uh, in recent years. That's common milkweed. That's uh, not really very common in Fayetteville, I'd say. There, there are a few patches here and there. That's the uh, spider milkweed, Asclepius viridis. The other one's Asclepius syriaca. And that's a milkweed bug on it. That's a critter that lays its eggs and its young to eat up the plant. There is a malformed, uh, or shall we say an evolving, uh, spider milkweed and see how those leaves are, are seem to have grown together and never separated uh, that's that's unusual I've, I've seen a lot of those plants over the years but never seen one with a leaf like this so it uh, got it for both sides there's <laughs> seemingly endless number of blooms coming out of this one uh, Lonicera sempervirin leaf See, they always have their leaves together like that. Uh, uh, the final leaf from which the, it's the trumpet, the reason it's called trumpet milkweed, and I mean milk, trumpet honeysuckle, I'm sorry, uh, Lonicera sempervirens, and uh, it's a native honeysuckle, also called coral honeysuckle. So I believe that's a record for my photography. Uh, see, all those stems come out of that one uh, leaf formation there, and that's that's uh, more than usual. I wish I had a that that's several days old, and I, I sh could have taken one this morning, which is the uh, uh, second of June, and seen if that had improved. Some of those may have opened by now. Uh, that's a bird giving you that's a, a sparrow, and he's giving you his opinion on the paid parking downtown because he doesn't have to pay, but he listens to all the people grumble about it down there. Okay, there is Paula Marinoni. She's at the street committee meeting recently, and she was talking about the plan you see on the wall up there. They would have a construction road built through the trees on Old Main Lawn between trees out there. And now you see some of the other insects at World Peace Wetland Prairie. That little beauty, I didn't uh, take time to go back and search to, to see exactly which one he is. Now that situation I wanted to describe because you see little bitty aphids on that uh, uh, leaf and you see an ant there. And that's, that's the uh, 
um, carbon to ant. He's protecting those critters because they produce honeydew, and that's what he likes to uh, to eat. Why am I wearing a Rogers Wreck shirt today? Well, it's simple. Rogers Wreck would be a major uh, victim, shall we say, of the uh, proposed change in the, the smoking ordinance that would include bars in the places that were uh, not allowed to allow smoking indoors. So um, I guess my question is to the city council and those thinking about this would be, is it worth possibly destroying that business, which is uh, historically uh, very uh, important to Dixon Street. It's been there a long time. Old friend Roger Ketter owned it originally. And uh, anyway, leave that with something to think about. Till next time, the Solver Shepherd asks you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepherd, and we have more photos today on the second of. June 2011, and let's go straight in and see what they are. Okay, that's called horse nettle, and of course it's got a fancy name, but uh, it's a little plant that maybe not everybody loves as much as they should. Look how beautiful it is. So I, I made several shots, and, and uh, some of them are slightly different, but um, these things are all over, and some people have them in their gardens on purpose. But this is growing out on World Peace Wetland Prairie, provided by nature without uh, any cultivation. And uh, it's also a host plant for some uh, species, and it certainly provides nectar and, and uh, pollen for others. So I uh, think we should respect those small, not so gaudy, flowers, but gosh, it is attractive, and right now it's pretty important to, to the insects that use it. So there's one, probably I cropped that one a little more to, to make it show up larger. You can read about this relationship between insects and, and the, their host plants and flowers in general, uh, particularly our native flowers in bringing nature home. A book by Doug Tallamy that's available at uh, all the best bookstores. I got mine down on Dixon Street at the uh, uh, Nightbird bookstore, but um, they've usually got a copy and, and they're always willing to order more. That's dogbane. I show a lot of milkweed, but this is similar to milkweed, but it's uh, in, in the, the general category, but not as a milkweed. That's a soldier beetle. I'm not sure specific one it is, but you can see how pretty those flowers are. They're just awfully small. It's hard to get one that I can actually blow up the interior of the flower and show you. This is a, is that a leaf hopper. Um, it might be in the class of spittle bugs. I, I, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, leaf hoppers and tree hoppers and such and spittle bugs are ones that uh, You'll, you'll, it'll appear someone has spit on a, on a plant, and it turns out that the pupil, pupa, the growing from the egg, uh, many of these insects will be on a stem, sucking out its juices and producing that fluffy, uh, spit-looking uh, matter. And I, I certainly had some pictures in there with these, but I don't think I put one actually on this slide show. We'll, we'll see it if it's there. Anyway, that's a cone flower, and it's on World Peace Wetland Prairie in the, um, now it's actually in the um, butterfly garden, I believe. Now that's the Sclepia spiritus again. That's the uh, spider milkweed, and that's a milkweed bug shown from up close from the front, and this is the face of the flower. Do you see the center, how the little, it appears to have a green nose and, and a big red chin and a flat head. Anyway, you see faces and other body parts in uh, flowers, and people have done that forever. 
So that's also a close up of spider milkweed. I love those. And they're one of the ones uh, blooms earliest here, and uh, they'll sort of be fading. You'll see some faded ones, maybe. That's uh, another milkweed bug, bad guys. Once again, let me say, think about the your opinion about the smoking ordinance revision that would outlaw smoking in such places as Rogers Wreck. It's been here for years. It's popular. People come here for bikes, blues, and barbecue. And where do the motorcyclists want to go? Rogers Wreck. So uh, they don't steal a lot of business from other people, but they provide uh, services that people enjoy a pool hall and pretty free uh, activity in there. Till next time, this is Arbor Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, to get pure, and the woods green. See ya.